This morning we're going to be making some microwave marmalade and it really is very simple. And what we're going to use this morning simply oranges, a lemon, sugar and some water. So first of all we're going to do the oranges and the oranges have to be cut very very thinly. Now you need all the juice as well so I'm going to take the juice out first because it makes it a bit easier to handle. And if you can just use it, just one of these or even a fork could do this. So when that's all cut up quite finely, then you just put it in into your bowl with the lemon and the lemon juice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to squeeze the lemon juice out of this half a lemon. Put it in with the oranges. And you just put your shell of your half a lemon inside there. Pour over your boiling water. Put it into your microwave. We need to lift the lemon out because we don't need that anymore. The lemon has done its job. We'll just scoop out all the, the fleshy bits and anything that's uh, left inside and then we'll just can discard that. To finish this off to make it into proper marmalade we need a little bit more water because we're going to add our sugar now as well. Now we've already added 300 mils of water. We're adding another 200 mils. We've got one and a half oranges approximately in there. Don't worry about your weights. And we've got 500 grams of sugar. Now I like to stir this in gradually because it starts to dissolve straight away because it's on contact with hot water. Because what you need to do now is to make sure that this is dissolved completely before it cooks because you don't want little bits of grains at the bottom of your marmalade. And the way I would test for it to be dissolved is by pulling my spoon out and checking the back. If it isn't dissolved you can still see the little tiny grains and I can on there. So that means I need to just stir it for another few moments. Yeah that is clear now, just clear, clear juice. So now that goes back in the microwave, slightly different from before because we need to check it. It'll take about 15 to 20 minutes to cook in a microwave. It depends on your microwave again how long that will take but it needs to be checked every five minutes and stirred so make sure you've got a tea towel ready because it gets very very hot your dish at this point it should start to be gelling around the sides of the bowl and you can see it's sticky it's clinging to the side of the bowl so what that means is it's got perhaps two two or three more minutes you have to watch this part because it does have a very speedy setting point at the end and the way I can check now by having a very cold saucer and I'm going to just put a little bit to see if it has is ready for setting now I've got to let that cool and once it's cool it's starting to set because it's difficult to get it to move around the saucer but it's not quite there and then I should be able to do that with it and it will stay there, it will wrinkle. Not quite there yet, so we need our extra two or three minutes. I will put it on for three because I think three... You'll, you'll get to know when and see how it changes. Very, very careful when you're taking this out because it's boiling hot and sugar stays hotter than anything else and you really can get nasty burns from it. Now I am going to check it but I can tell now that this is ready and I'll leave that to go a little cool, little bit cool before I put it into the jar now very important everything in your jam making or your marmalade making must be spotlessly clean and your spoon first of all spoon in a bit of the liquid first and very little of the peel and then just run run it round the bottom and the sides of your jar and this helps make sure all the peel stays evenly through your marmalades because sometimes if you put it on straight in straight into your jar all your peel rises to the top the thing to do now is to make sure you put your lid straight on and it will be hot if it's hot just hold on to the jar with your tea towel but get the lid on straight away because that stops anything any bacteria and microbes getting in there and spoiling the top it looks runny now but in about an hour and a half, that will be thick and set and ready for your toast at tea time or breakfast, whichever you prefer. 